make sure you always have these books on hand, folks. I really appreciate it as a small business. I appreciate your support. And hey, if somebody's getting married, someone has a birthday, whatever, buy them a book, send them a book. You can order them through Amazon and send them anywhere worldwide. So always keep that in mind. And I really, really appreciate that. So let's get our bell peppers. So get out two large red bell peppers. And because we're grilling these, we want to make sure they're cut into big pieces. Less chance of them falling through the grates, right? The bigger they are, hopefully we can just keep them laying on the grill. So we want to cut these into big chunks. So we're going to follow that same process I always tell you about cutting off the four sides of the cube, right? Cutting off the bottom and the top. Let's do this. And that's going to create some big pieces. And all we're going to do is just throw them in this big mixing bowl we have here. So again, when you're cutting off your sides, just where it's going to start curving, not here by the stem, but here on the side. So you have some nice big pieces. Okay, one, two, three, Four. There's our four sides to the cube. We're going to cut off the bottom. And this one's a bit moldy inside, but the flesh is fine. So we're all good. And then cut through the stem. There's your stem. There's another big piece. And all this nasty bit can go in the compost. We don't need that. You got some nice grilling pieces right there. Okay, let's do the same thing with the other one. So on the side, just before it curves, one, two, three, four. Cut off the bottom, punch through the stem, stem comes out, there's another big piece, get rid of that, get rid of that. And there's not a single seed left in the board. And we're left with these big pieces like this that we can grill, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna toss them in that bowl, take one tablespoon of that canola oil and just toss them around in the oil, okay? Get them thoroughly coated with that oil. Really simple. Those are ready for the grill. You're gonna to wanna to also have on hand either a paper bag or a container with a lid that you're gonna put the bell peppers in once they're cooked. We're gonna try and steam off the skins of the red pepper. So my big green egg is ready to go. It's all fired up. And the first thing we're gonna do are those bell peppers. So we're gonna to wanna to get them on direct over the fire and we really wanna put them on skin side down so the skin side to the flame, and we want them completely charred on the skin side, completely black. Let me show you this, okay? So I'm gonna bring you guys as close as I can here without burning my MacBook. I'm gonna lift this lid. Oh yeah, we're cooking, baby. And taking the bell peppers that have been tossed in oil and literally put them skin side down, okay? Need skin side down. That's the first part that we're looking to get some char on and they're gonna be completely black. Well, maybe mostly black anyway, I'll say, how about that? So put them all on there. You should have your, if you're cooking on a gas grill, like close to medium high to high heat, depending on your uh, BTUs that you have, whatever it takes to get the skin side black. And then once we have the skin side black, we'll be flipping them over to put a slight char on the other side and just to help cook that flesh. And we'll check on them with you in a minute. And that's why we need that container afterwards. So I have a glass bowl here with a lid that I'm going to put my bell peppers in. And this is a very classic step of steaming off the charred skin. So you've heard of like fire roasted tomatoes, fire roasted peppers. This is what we're doing, okay? Some people, if they haven't got a, a barbecue, they'll literally just take their gas stove and they'll put a bell pepper right on the flame on their gas stove until the, all the whole outside of the bell pepper is black they'll shove it in a bag and then they'll just peel it and then they'll cut it and they'll have char roasted or fire roasted bell pepper. It's however you wanna do it, but we need those skins black. The other side, again, once they're black, we'll flip them over, we'll get a slight char and help to cook the flesh a little bit on the other side, but we're not looking for black on the other side, just the skin side. And that will really help them steam off. It's gonna have that great flavor but we're not gonna have the, like the uh, sort of plasticky skins. We don't want that. Let's have a quick look at those bell peppers right now and we'll see how we're looking. How black should we be? I'm, I'm getting pretty black. Okay, so yeah, it should be completely black on the skin side. Let me see mine and I'll show you, see that? Yeah, that's what mine looking like, yep. yeah. Yeah, we're almost there. I'd go just a, even a little bit more and then okay. flip it over and you just want a slight char on the other side, okay? Thank you. You bet. I'm glad you checked with me. Thanks, Barb. Yeah, you may look at that and you may think, oh, that's burnt. Well, remember, we're taking off the skin and the skins are only gonna come off easily if they're completely black like that. See, we're getting there on that. Yeah, we're just gonna go a little bit longer and then I'll show you what that looks like once we're there. Okay, let me make sure they're not dropping. Anything. 
Okay, good. And my egg is running about 500 degrees right now, direct over the fire. It won't take too much longer, and I'll show you what we're looking for. So completely black, literally, on that one side. I mean, or you could even say like 90% black, still a little bit of red. On those, the bottom part, you know, of our cube and the top part where it's a little bit more knobby, it may be black and then not so black in between those knobs of it. That's okay. You're not going to get those completely black. But the flat parts, yeah, they're going to be almost, like I say, 90%, 95% black. And then we're going to flip it over, cook a little bit on the other side just to cook up that flesh a little bit so it's more pliable. That's going to give us some nice fire roasted flavor. All right, let's have a look at those bell peppers. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. See? See that? That's what we're looking for. Okay. So nice and black like that. So I'm going to turn them all over that are like that. Great, beautiful. And making sure I don't drop any in the fire, obviously. And we're just gonna get a slight char on the other side. That one needs a little bit more. So I'm gonna move this around a little bit. That one's good. That one needs a bit more. How about that one? Yeah, it needs a bit more too. So. They're mostly turned over except for three pieces. I'll let those ones go. We'll check them out. And then as you're taking them off, it's important to get them in that paper bag or that con sealed container right away. Put the lid on right away. Even if it's only you know uh, half of them or whatever, put that lid on, let them start the steaming process. You can always take the lid off, they add the rest of them and put the lid back on again. We wanna make sure it's very easy to get those skins off, which we'll show you when we head back to the, to the kitchen, okay? And literally, I'm probably ready to go on those last few pieces. So it wasn't gonna take long, they were almost there. So I'm just going to open the lid up again. Have a look. Yes, look at that, beautiful. Awesome, nice and black. I'm gonna let those cook a little bit. You see them there, eh? They look fantastic. I know some people have never seen fire roasted peppers. Like, Those are burnt, man. No, they're not. Yes, they are in a sense, but they're just, sorry, they're just the skins that are burnt and we need that to get them, get them off. And I got my container ready and I'm literally just going to, I'll show you what we're looking for on the opposite side. It's literally just, you're just getting just a little bit of color on the flesh side like that. See that? Just a little bit. So these are all good. I'm going to take them off. See that? That's the flesh side, that's the underside. And put them in a container. And the heat from there, after it's sealed in that bowl, is just going to steam off those skins really, really nicely, okay? I'm just going to put that lid on mine really, really quick. Every time you're grilling, when you have a gas grill, you know as well as I do, you know your gas grill better than I do, and you have hot spots and cold spots. You know exactly where those hot spots are, where the cold spots are. In a big green egg, if you happen to have a cold spot and a hot spot, that's only because the fire generated itself to a certain area. It just grew in that area. If I wanted to change that right now, I could. I just take that grate off, get my ash tool, move the coals around so the whole thing's hot, put it on one side, make half hot, half cold, I'm in full control. I'm never letting my grill dictate to me where I'm gonna cook stuff. I'm just gonna be the boss of that grill and cook wherever I want. But I'm really excited to show you this. All right, so let's take the lid off this thing. And you can put your nose in there. Ah, I mean, just smells like amazing. I would love to make a salsa out of that, unbelievable. Unbelievable, but let me show you how easy this is now. So we got the skins, right? Look how black they are. And they literally will just peel right off. I don't know if you can see that, my black chef jacket there, but literally the skin has just come right off. Look, and we're gonna just take those, those skins off now. You can tell by peeling them, they're almost like plasticky now. So they're definitely gonna be a texture that we don't want. And you're just left with this piece of flesh that's slightly charred on the underside. So we're going to make a little pile of flesh and a little pile of plasticky skins for our red pepper. And we're going to go through and peel all of them like that. Okay. Do all your peeling first, and then we'll worry about chopping afterwards. And these are just amazing to add to anything. Fire roasted pepper soup or salsa, like I mentioned, anything you want to add this to a spaghetti sauce and fire roast tomatoes as well and get the skins off. And it's just so much more flavor. 
folks. It, does it require more work? Absolutely. But again, as I mentioned, there's only two reasons why we eat food. One's for enjoyment and one's to keep alive. So if you're gonna keep alive anyway, you might as well have something that you really enjoy and go through a little bit of extra, extra work and just make it enjoyable. Find a way to make it enjoyable. Embrace the aromas, embrace the cooking on fire, you know? 